All right, YouTube, this is uh, DMC831. Going to show you a tutorial uh, on some builds that I've made. I got these for sale uh, as well. So if you have any questions on specs, on what they run, you could give me a uh, shoot me an email at a 831, DMC831 at yahoo.com. Again, it's DMC831 at yahoo.com. Uh, basic specs I'm going to show you here. There's two particular motherboards that I use for these home theater PCs uh, that I use, and uh, that's these here an MSI and the Gigabyte, that particular model number as well. They work real well, have onboard video, HDMI out, uh, high definition, 7.1 sound uh, surround sound uh, true blu-ray playback using the onboard video card uh, HDMI out that it have first of all I'm going to show you this build here they're all a little different it's a silver stone case pretty stealth looking only one button on the front uh, you open this bad boy up uh, has a Samsung blu-ray player I'm about to put a uh, a card reader there uh, just waiting for it to arrive on mail uh, pretty stuff unit really love it uh, let me show you the back of it back of it has a uh, wireless LAN antenna standard VGA DVI outputs uh, there, there it is the HDMI cable that you need um, four USBs, your LAN, your high definition audio out. Let's see if I can focus there. A little hard to focus with this, but there you go. Uh, pretty solid unit. This one has a AMD dual core, uh, three gigahertz, four gigs of DDR3 memory really solid unit uh, does blu-ray as well I got two remotes here that I use also for sale the Lenovo Lenovo Mini fits right on your hand real nice remote mouse right left and right click all the functions you need on above and I got the Logitech uh, the Novo it's also a PS3 controller really solid unit uh, I use this for my XBMC media home theater PC really solid remotes uh, you'll be happy with either either or price difference is pretty huge on both of them though uh, I recommend whatever you can afford so uh, they both work real well long range um, everything's fine this little bad boy here is a custom made PC that I made uh, it's a Zotac Ion 330 also has a blu-ray ROM player in there uh, really solid unit you flip it over See the back of this unit has, you know, Ion just kind of outdoes itself. It does a VGA, DVI, uh, HDMI out, eSATA, four USB ports, LAN, HDMI. Actually, this has six USB ports. Uh, composite out, high definition sound, and optical audio out this is truly a little beast as they call it um, plays blu-ray 1080p full resolution uh, man this thing kicks ass to be honest with you little Zotac Ion it's a 1.6 atom chip however I have it overclocked to 2.2 and it runs smooth so it's a nice little CPU uh, Standard build here is this uh, Raid Max R1 case. Also has a Blu ray ROM player in it. Also, with the AMD, this is a quad core AMD that's in here. A solid unit. Same thing as the Silverstone. Has all the same components. Uh, 4 gigabytes of DDR3, as well as that little one. 4 gigabytes of DDR2. Uh, really solid unit. Same inputs in the back. And uh, let me just kind of show you what all these computers do. If you have any questions, you could uh, drop me a note. Give me a comment if you want some prices. I load these up with uh, genuine copies of Windows 7 Ultimate, 64-bit, of course. Uh, standard is at least 2 terabytes of, of uh, hard disk space. 
minimum specs of 4 gigs of DDR3 or DDR2 depending on the motherboard and it's set to go. This is my personal unit here. I use it here on my exaggerated 52 inch flat screen. Uh, just so you can see the specs is what I run. Windows 7 Ultimate uh, has an AMD Phenom 3.4 gigahertz chip 965. It's a really awesome uh, CPU and it runs smooth on my uh, on my 52 inch Philips screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up XBMC to give you an idea of what, uh, how to run this. Basically, we got pictures, movies. If you can play any movie, it'll play it in true uh, 1080 quality. For example, we pick that. Let's it giggles. There you go, I thought it started. Does movies. Uh, does a whole bunch of stuff, man. Uh, also does, uh, I believe it does TV shows. It does personal videos. Uh, does a whole bunch of stuff that you're gonna like to see. Uh, Bear with me, real quick. I'm trying to set the camera straight. Here you go. This little system does, uh, like I said, movies. I'm trying to focus my camera here. Does TV shows. For example, I got uh, True Blood. California Cation. My personal favorite here would be uh, Sons of Anarchy. Split the screens to show you uh, all seasons. That's what I want. Give you thumbnails of all the episodes here using XBMC. I'm using a, uh, I believe it's 9.11 Camelot. Haven't even downloaded any of the newest uh, builds. I mean, this one seems to be working fine. Plays everything real good. Again, give you a quick example. This thing's an awesome piece of machine. It does, like I said, movies, TV shows. I'm going to show you guys one more example of what else it does. Um, personal videos by weather, as you can see. There you go. Watsonville, California. That's where I'm at. If you guys need a custom built PC, home theater system, uh, just get at me, dmca31 at yahoo.com. Um, also does picture library for, uh, let me see, music, does music. You know, for example, I've got my music library here. I've got my 50 Cent albums, my uh, ACDC, Akon, Alicia Keys, a whole bunch of stuff, man. This is just an awesome piece of uh, ingenuity here. Uh, so technology is taking us. Basically, you know, my picture folder takes me to my pictures, my movies, TV shows, videos. I got either have uh, clips of uh, of personal home movie clips, or I have a, a special folder for just music videos. Uh, and there you go, brings up my thumbs. Got my Cypress Hill <laughs> music video DVD here. You know, see if you could look at that. Plays it just like a DVD. And there you go. Starts it off. This this is just like the original DVD. Anyhow, anyhow, if you have any questions on any of my builds, like this tutorial, or it's not even a tutorial, just to show you my builds, uh, hit me up, DMC831 at yahoo.com. Uh, this is pretty much my build here. These bad boys here. If you have any questions on the remotes, on anything, just let me know, man. DMC831 at yahoo.com